Beneath the vast, seemingly static sheets of sea ice in the polar oceans, a bizarre and deadly phenomenon unfolds in the dark, frigid water. It is a spectacle of chemistry and physics that looks like something from a science fiction movie. A hollow, icy tendril descends from the underside of the sea ice, growing downwards like an underwater stalactite. When this icy finger reaches the sea floor, it continues to spread, freezing and encasing everything it touches. Slow-moving creatures, like starfish and sea urchins, are trapped, their bodies frozen into an icy tomb. This is a brinicle, a portmanteau of brine, an icicle, and it is one of nature's strangest and most mesmerizing events. This is the story of the science behind this icy finger of death, a beautiful but lethal process that reveals the extreme and alien nature of the Earth's polar seas. The first visual evidence of a brinical forming was captured by a BBC film crew in 2011 using time-lapse cameras in the freezing waters of Antarctica. The footage they captured was both stunning and chilling. It showed the hollow tube of ice forming with surprising speed, descending through the water column over a period of several hours. When it reached the seafloor, it created a spreading web of ice that trapped and killed a number of starfish. The event confirmed a phenomenon that scientists had theorized about for decades, but had never witnessed in its entirety. It is a powerful demonstration of the extreme conditions that govern life in the planet's coldest regions. The investigation into how a brinicle forms is a fascinating lesson in the physics of sea ice. When seawater freezes, it does something very interesting. The ice crystals that form are made of pure fresh water. The salt is expelled and does not become part of the solid ice structure. This salt gets concentrated in the remaining unfrozen water, creating pockets of extremely cold, super saline brine within the sea ice. This brine can be much saltier than the surrounding seawater, and its temperature can be several degrees below the normal freezing point. This cold, dense brine is the key ingredient. The brine is heavier than the seawater below. Eventually, it finds a crack or a weak point in the sea ice and begins to leak out, sinking downwards in a plume. The climax of the process is the moment this super cold plume of brine comes into contact with the slightly warmer, less salty sea water below. The brine itself does not freeze. It is too salty, but it is so cold that it causes the sea water it touches to freeze instantly. As the plume of brine sinks, it sheathes itself in a descending tube of newly formed ice, like a self-creating straw. This is the brinicle. It is a hollow tube of ice with the super saline brine flowing down its center. The reveal is that the brinicle is not just a piece of ice. It is a conduit, a delivery system for extreme cold. It continues to grow downwards as long as the supply of brine from the sea ice above continues. When this icy finger finally touches the seafloor, the brine flows out and begins to pool, spreading across the bottom. Because the brine is so cold, it freezes any water it comes into contact with, including the slow-moving benthic creatures that are unable to escape its path. The starfish and sea urchins are not frozen by the ice tube itself, but by the spreading super cold brine that it delivers. The deeper meaning of the brinicle is that even in the most seemingly barren and lifeless environments on our planet, there are complex and dynamic processes at work. The formation of a brinicle is a beautiful and stark example of how the laws of thermodynamics and chemistry can create both stunning structures and lethal traps. It is a glimpse into a world that operates under a different set of rules, a world of extreme cold and salinity where life must constantly adapt to survive. It is a powerful reminder that there are still hidden wonders and hidden dangers in the deepest and coldest corners of our own world waiting to be discovered. If you are fascinated by the hidden wonders of the Earth's most extreme environments, subscribe to Terra Firma. Up next, 
we travel to the Amazon. The rainforest that creates its own rainfall is being pushed towards a catastrophic tipping point, a change that could release a massive carbon bomb and alter weather patterns across the globe.